हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोना सी अ प्रॉब्लम डिज़ाइन अ नंबर कंटेनर सिस्टम इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू हैव टू डिज़ाइन अ नंबर कंटेनर सिस्टम व्हिच कैन डू द फॉलोइंग इंसर्ट और रिप्लेस अ नंबर एट अ गिवन इंडेक्स व्हिच मींस फॉर एन इंडेक्स देयर कैन बी नथिंग देन यू कैन insert it you know fresh addition or if there is some existing numbers you can simply replace it again i just converted this specific english to a specific you know symbol statement like that then next statement is return the smallest index for a given number in the system so for a number you can have multiple indexes out of those multiple indexes you have to return the smallest index whenever you have to access the smallest largest value in the minimum time whatever you use you use priority you or a set or a map cool let's see again this is the simple observations from by reading just the simple two statements now the next they are saying is to implement the number container class it has a corresponding constructor a change method which will say add this index just change it to this current number as you know add this index change to this number if there is no add it and lastly find which means for that specific number for that specific number out of all the indexes which it had give me the minimum index now let's see the example so example simply says in the very beginning again make sure that you remember this part this is ultimately what i have to do so we realize okay in the very beginning he is asking for find 10 again i'm taking the exact same thing find change 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 find change find cool then first it says find 10 in the very beginning for all the indexes again i have shown the indexes in, as a form of a array but technically you know you just have to store that for one index 1 what you have for index 2 what you have so he is saying that find 10 which means that for the number 10 if you have inside the you know inside whatever you, uh, you are maintaining what is the smallest index for it but i simply realize that i don't even have a 10 right now again this is visually by seeing by simple naked eye i can see there is nothing so answer is minus 1 okay let's move on change change says at index 2 go and check what is the value if there is nothing or if there is anything then replace it so i went on to index 2 and then replace it by, with the value of 10 so which means that i have to somehow maintain that for the specific index for the specific index what is the number so index to number so at index 2 i had the number now 10 i have the number now 10 again this will also help me the same map will help me if there was a previous value here or not cool let's continue and thus we will keep on seeing that what conditions we need to apply he is now saying at index 1 put a value of 10 again i will refer my hash map now you want to ask are in why can't i build an array out of it you can build an array of indexes that's completely fine but if you look at the constraints index can actually go 1 in 9 so it's much better that you maintain a hash map for index to the actual value cool the same thing for the value 3 put the value 10 for the number 5 put the value 10 now the other ask is find 10 so which means that out of all the locations where 10 is present which means for 10 so far the indexes are 1 2 3 and 5 you have to determine the smallest index obviously as i told we can use all three we can use map set or a priority you here for simple find operation so what i will do i will simply this so what is this this is a hash map from a number to another data structure what is that data structure it can be a map or a tree set again when i say map i mean a ordered map it can be a simple tree map or a tree set you know ordered set ordered map or a priority queue so with that i will be easily able to get a minimum element which is 1 or minimum index which is 1 so this is easily what i'm saying that i will maintain number to index which will say for a specific number what all indexes i had you know seen so far and i will maintain that in a data structure which can give me the smallest value in smallest time and we have all the sorted data structure which is map set and priority queue which gives in o of log n time smallest element cool again uh if we just want to do a peak then priority queue will give you an o of one time but still uh that's the simple uh you know stuff which you can expect because obviously we have to do some operations also maybe uh technically if we if 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 i'm using a set you know a simple set or a maybe simple map ordered map or ordered set then if i just access the smallest element it will be o of one if i remove it 
and you know uh, try to remove or add it will be over of login again simple complexity terms i'll explain that while, I, while I, i'll explain the code also now let's continue now i say that change 1 to 20 so earlier if you remember when i did a change 1 to 10 there was nothing and then i replaced to 10 now i am saying change 1 to 20 which means earlier what i had earlier i had 10 here now i am removing that 10 and putting a 20 how this will impact first impact will be that for the index again i will i told you like i'll maintain a hash map for a specific index i will have to maintain what is the corresponding number index to number and here i mentioned that it earlier was 10 replace it with 20 but how and why this is required is because because i know that for element 10 there was an index 1 or rather i should say for index 1 there was a element 10 so go on to the actual another hash map for 10 and remove one so i'll simply remove one and then when i replace it with 20 i will go on to the hash map value 20 and put up value 1 now your task is that for any sorted uh, you know you know for any data structure which you have taken in the previous step which is map uh, tree you know ordered map ordered set or a priority queue you have to remove any specific element again any specific random element not necessarily minimum because i could have also asked you replace index 3 with 20 so it is any specific element remove it as soon as possible what is that data structure obviously priority queue is not a perfect choice for that we have to use a map or a order order map or order tree which will remove any element in o of log n time cool again as i mentioned before if you just want to do a you know look at like peak you know that will be entirely o of 1 but obviously you will also try to add or remove that will be o of log n but but just to view the minimum element it, it, it will be o of 1 now uh, what i realized is okay i not my only options right now are tree or a uh, sorry a uh, set or a map then uh, what i will choose okay i can simply choose a, a set itself because map is more of maintaining a frequency here i don't want to maintain a frequency it is all the indexes or indexes are simply unique uh, even if i am repeating it i will not repeat it per se it is more of a you know uh, if let's say i say at index t- uh, for the number 10 for a value of like index of 2 okay it is already there so what do what like do, simply do nothing so that's it i can simply maintain a set or i should say a tree set so here if i have a map i have a set i will simply maintain a set i mean everything is ordered here so it is a ordered set or ordered map and same way i will update my uh, number to index map hash map with for the value sorry for the value 20 a data structure which is a tree set here or you know a simple set here uh with a value of 1 cool and thus uh here you will see when i will another time call a find 10 so for 10 it will go and check its tree set which has the value 2 3 and 5 minimum here is to return it in o of 1 time cool let's see the code but you understood the essence the essence is simply maintaining two data structures and again how we got to know by simple the state like by simply the statement also because for index i have to maintain a number and for number i have to maintain some set of indexes but because i have to access them so i had th- i had three options because i had three options i tried with these three options but then at this point when i had to remove something i realized that priority is not is not a perfect choice for that so i simply took two of the options but then i also realized that hash map oh sorry a uh, ordered map or you know a tree map or a simple map which is ordered map is a overkill that's the reason i simply used a tree set cool let's go and look at the code firstly i took a index to a number first specific index what is a number and also a number to ind- indices that for a number what are all the set of indices i have then i just will go and do a change whenever i am changing it i should check that for the existing like for the existing index what is the corresponding number it had so i'll check firstly that you know for index 1 let's say here the operation is index 1 value 20 i will check index 1 is there anything existingly there so he will say yes it is there because i have the value 10 here then i will get the value 10 which is the previous number i have got a value 10 then i will say that go on to number to indices hash map 
which means go on to the hash map for 10 what all indices are there and then remove this index so i'll simply remove this erase this index one again this erase will take o of login time and then i will have a quick check that if this is specific uh, you know again this is a simple safety check more of that if this specific becomes empty uh, entire data structure which means i should remove this entire row from the hash map altogether if it's result becomes empty because you're removing something so there's a possibility that this becomes empty right in that case simply remove this entire line from your hash map so this is this operation and ultimately when you have removed which means when you have removed the essence of 10 then you can simply say that for the index 1 put the value 20 and also for the value 20 just insert the value index 1 right and this is both so like this will take o of one time and this will take o of log n time this this erase will take o of log n time cool and again all this access and stuff will take o of one time here this erase also will take o of uh, one time now let's see how we'll find it find as i mentioned simply it's a find uh, by saying go on to your number to the indexes which means for a number 10 i have bottle indexes 2 3 5 just simply access the smallest value so I simply access the smallest value for the for this hash map. I'll access this entire set. So this will return me a set for that set. Just access the big n element, which is the smallest element. And if it is, you know, if I have that smallest element or if I have that data structure, uh, sorry, if I have this entire line itself, which means I have something, then I can return that something. If not, then I can return minus one. What this line ultimately indicates is that if you have this entry in the hash map where you have a key 10 and something obviously if you have something only then then itself there's a key if yes then obviously just go here and simply return its minimum value which is 2 else put a minus 1 now again uh, in c++ because in most of the modern programming languages they maintain the smallest pointer that is the reason again it might feel like that it is a low of log n uh, because it has to access smallest elements, so it is a red back tree. You have to access go and all that stuff. Technically not, because every modern language maintains the smallest uh, value pointer. Thus, this will be a O of one as a time complexity just to access the smallest element. So, time for change will be O of log n. Time for find will be O of one. Space because you are maintaining two hash maps and kind of storing all the values thus the space will be O of n. Now this is a primary reason uh, the complexity portion where you should be pretty good with what and how and at what point what is the complexity. Cool I'll complete this but you will also find uh, you know a lazy um, method for this specific problem again although in this case it is not required or recommended anyway because you will see that primarily what you are doing primarily uh, you have a change and a find which is you know your main bottleneck lazy updates or lazy method says that uh, when you have two operations both having different complexity in terms of let's say if this operation performs operation in o of n again i'm giving an example let's say if this op this 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 performs an operation o of n this performs an operation o of one then your interviewer might ask you okay, can you optimize or think of something different then you have to think of that currently right now if this is o of n this is o of one it indicates that okay this is for this one operation of change it is having o of n time for this one operation of find this is having o of one time what if there are many such change operations but very less find operations then your overall complexity will be pretty high in those scenarios think of a case in which you can maybe increase finds complexity again maybe again if it is let's just stay exactly same then well and good but if not then maybe you can increase the find complexity but decrease you know your change complexity in that terms you will be able to optimize for the overall program but that will depend upon how many number of change versus how many number of find operations will be there this is a very good follow which comes in an interview especially whenever there are multiple operations happening because in that case you will have to even if although let's say if even if i gave you an optimal solution but still that optimal is on the basis of number of change operation number of find operations if what if the number of change operations are pretty large 
in that case what will you do or can you do something that maybe you, even if you are up you are bound to make your complexity worse for fine but still it's okay because fine operation is pretty less change is pretty large but in this case uh you know the people have recommended priority queue but in that case uh it's technically of login only so yeah that's uh not much of a uh issue here cool i hope you guys got it again uh this is primary concern uh, like primarily a thing where it will judge your time complexity cool bye bye take care and make sure if you want practice just make sure to come and follow the practice problem sheet and articles you can find here bye bye take care